Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's so nice to see you again, and if you're new, hello, welcome. It is nice to have you here. I hope you hit that red subscribe button that you have down there. And if you haven't met him already, this is my little puppy, Hershey, that really wants me to let him go, so just go. But today's video is a drugstore haul. I was gonna go and do an Ulta haul, but my husband didn't want to go to the mall on Saturday because it was too late and he wanted to watch the boxing that that was going to be on by Pacquiao and who knows who else. I don't know who else, but by Pac-Man. And on Sunday, I was like, let's go to the mall. He was like, no, I work tomorrow. I don't want to go. It, if, I, if that car was working, I would have gone by myself because yesterday was my daughter's birthday and we didn't give her a birthday present because he didn't want to go. I love my husband but I hate him sometimes. <laughs> I get mad at him sometimes. But I do have a drugstore haul because on Halloween I went to Target to see if there was a last minute costume for my son because we didn't have money until the Halloween day to buy him a costume. And I, I bought two things. Well, I bought three things, but the, I have no idea where the heck the third thing is. And at Walmart, I bought like 10 things. And let's just show you. So it is a um, beauty and fashion haul, if you already saw by the title. And it is fashion because I bought... I bought some, a little bit of shoes at Walmart. I bought some at Target too, which is the item that I can't find. I bought some black flats at Target for $16. And I really wish I wouldn't have bought them. But we were at Target and I bought them because I needed them on Halloween. I needed a pair of black fat flats, fats, black flats flats to wear on Halloween with my costume so that I'm not wearing some. I had boots on. That's all I had I had before I made this shoe haul. I don't know, like I slowly stopped liking all the shoes I had. But I bought those black flats that they're super beautiful but I saw some black flats at Walmart for five dollars and I have these um leopard ones that I bought on Friday that I've worn two times already and I kind of like these more than the $16 ones that I bought at Target but these ones are a little bit looser like um, if I walk too fast that my feet slip out and I bought the I'm a size 8 or 8 and a half but I buy my all my shoes I buy in a size 9 because I get my my nails they get ingrown and when they do I sometimes I don't have money to go get a pedicure right away so I like having my shoes a little bit bigger so that when my nail gets ingrown I don't have to worry about it right away like my shoes don't hurt so I got these but they're a little bit dirty already. How wonderful. But I got these for $5.97 right here. And the they had a black pair. I didn't get the black pair because I got a red pair. I got this red pair right here that I still haven't worn. But this one has the price tag on them. $5.87. They had a pair like this in black and that's the price $5.87 and I really wish I would have gotten those flats instead of the ones at Target that I can't even find I left them here in the living room and they're gone like I checked I checked where I leave the shoes and they're not there and I've checked in my room and they're not there I don't know what the heck happened to my flats but I bought these two pairs for twelve dollars for both of them and this even though I was gonna say despite getting all fancy even though um 
they're loose. I feel like it's just the material. Or or it's me because I couldn't use flats before when I was fat. I couldn't use flats at all because my butt was like so swollen. And now I'm like skinnier and I could wear flats now. They don't hurt. But they kind of, if I walk too fast, my feet slip out. But I like them. I like them. And the black ones, they're cute. But I would have bought, I wish I would have bought them in black at Walmart for $5.87 instead of $16 something at Target because they're just flats. And I'm not even, it's already getting cold. I'm probably not even going to wear them until next year. Although the black ones are not. The black ones still haven't gotten dirty, and these leopard ones look a little bit dirty already. Probably because they fit me loose. Uh, because my because of that reason that these ones fit me loose when I walk. They're like squishing down, and the black ones aren't. But I've worn them two times only, and I haven't worn the red ones. And then I got the last pair of shoes. I got these for $9.97 just because they're leopard. They're, they're just, I don't know. I, they're, I don't really like purchasing shoes at Walmart. They don't last long, but I bought these ones and I think I'm going to wear them today. They're cute. Hopefully they last longer than the flats though and they don't get dirty like that in two days. But ten dollars, and they had some black ones. The the it says it has memory foam inside. The thing that makes me not buy shoes at Walmart or Target is that that they're like they're fake shoes, and it makes my feet stink faster. That's why I don't really like purchasing shoes there. But $10 and they're cute and I, I'm going to wear them with the red shoelaces, of course. I'm, I'm glad I bought them, but hopefully they don't make my feet stink fast. <laughs> hopefully. I don't really buy shoes at Walmart or Target. Clothing, yes. Like I bought in clothes, shirts mostly. At Walmart not really at Target because it's expensive sometimes but my husband was like you need shoes you should buy some I was like I don't really like them here I was like why don't you buy some he's like because they don't last they don't last for me to wear them at, at my work I was like I guess but they're cute I was like they're cute so I'll try them did you just bite me did you just bite me everybody this is my Little puppy Hershey, if you never met him, which I think I already told you guys in the intro, but this is Hershey. That is possibly gonna get a companion if the manager, the, the owners let us. I already asked her. She's gonna ask her husband. Okay, so I bought that at Walmart on Friday. Now, the flats... The black flats are not the same material. They're like a like a leather, and this one is like a silky material. But who knows where the hell they are? And on that day when I bought those flats on Halloween, I also bought two of the Elf lip. What are they called? Lip crayon in the shade. Scarlet Night and Wine. And this one's apparently a new shade. But I was just there looking for like a like a black or a bright red to wear with mine and my daughter's costume. Because I don't like to share makeup. So I was like, I'm gonna buy a lipstick that I could wear today like me put it on and then put it on her i don't i don't like to share my makeup if she gets my makeup and like starts to put it on i throw it away and it's not 
just with her, it's with everybody. So the top one is Scarlet Night, and the bottom one is Wine. And I used the Scarlet Night in, on Halloween, which is why I was out of its packet. And I really, I liked it. I like the shade. I find that throughout the night, it tends to like rub off though, and you need to apply more. But these things are three dollars, and they're not hard to apply. So you could, there, it's not like stop Hershey. It's not one of those lipsticks that get all chunky or like have like a crusty if crusty effect if you apply more on top of what you had already applied no you could put it on and if it starts to fade you put it on in those fading away spots and you're all good you don't need to take off the whole lipstick and reapply the whole thing so i got those two shades on halloween but now at walmart on Friday, I got two more shades. I got Parlene and stop it. Parlene and um, T Rose. So I got like this nudie brown and this pinky shade. Can you stop? Stop it! God, he's he's biting. He he had it in his mouth. You're getting on my nerves, boy. So I bought two more, and they have they have um, three more shades that I don't have that I want, that I'm going to get them one day. They're only $3, and and they're, they're okay lips. It's like they fade away, but if you have it in your purse, you could just put them on that spot that's fading away, and everything's okay. I was on the fence of buying this one, the Parlene, because I feel like it looks a little orangish. And there was another one that I wanted that was called Natural. They, I was about to get it, but my husband was saying that it looked like, like tan, like, it looked kind of like when your lips, what your lips look like when you don't have oxygen. That's what I felt like it looked like. But I kind of want to get it and give it a try, like, to see if I like the shade or not. But this one, I was on the fence. The par Parlene, I was on the fence of getting it or not because of it looks a little bit orangish. But it, swatching it, I like it. It's this one right here. And it's, like, um light brown with a pinkish undertone. And I like it. I'm going to be wearing that. Where do I put this where the dog doesn't take it with him and bites it? And then the tea rose. Let's see. It's like a pinkish color. So, yeah. I When you swatch it, it's like a pink, light pink with a brown undertone. Funny. A light brown with a pink undertone. And this one is like a light pink with a brown undertone. That's funny. That's cute. So those are the four e.l.f. lip, lip matte lip color shades that I got. But they have like three more that I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get them. They just two of the colors there wasn't available, and the co other color was like, uh, it kind of looks like it, like like a grayish, grayish nude color. I don't like it, so I left it. But I should have gotten it. And then I picked up another e.l.f. pencil for my eyebrows, and it is in the shade Deep Brown. And I don't, it's the, like, the shade I'm wearing, it, it, not like, it's the shade I'm wearing today, but I'm not really liking it. It's darker than my hair color, so I like the shade that is called Natural Brown, but they didn't have it when I went to Walmart, so I was like, I need another one, and I don't know if I'm about to run out or not, like, I, I haven't lifted it up to see if how much product I have but I got one just because what if I run out I'll have this one and if I'm thinking about like going to Target and seeing if they have the natural brown one and if they do I'm gonna get it and I'll just have this one there 
or if I ever need a, a pencil out of out of the blue and I don't have it, or if if I lose my natural brown pencil like I did. That's why I've been using the deep brown because I lost my natural brown when I got mad and threw it at my computer. It flew and I I don't it's probably behind the computer. I I was recording a tutorial and I had finished recording and the computer acted like if I didn't do anything, like the video was not there. So I got mad and I had the gel the brow gel, the clear brow gel, and that pencil, the brow pencil in my hand, and I threw them at the computer, and the brow gel broke, but the brow pencil, I have no idea where it went. That's what happened, just in case you guys were wondering, like, how did her brow gel break? I got mad, and I threw it at the computer, because it's not the first time that I record a video, and it said that it's not there. Okay. And then I got these two beautiful, beautiful chapsticks, lip balms that I'm never going to use. They're just going to sit there for decoration. Oh my gosh, these things were like $6 each, but they're super worth it because it's Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. And like I said, I'm never going to use them. I'm just going to have them on top of my makeup drawer for decoration. And this one is in the shade, in the scent, Berry. And this one is in the scent, um, Marshmallow. So this one I would have never used anyways because of the strawberry. But this one, oh my gosh. They are just so adorable. Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse. I love them so much. Oh, and it says that they could stack up. They, they, it's not a circle down here. Let's try this. But it's not like a circle at, on the end because they, they have like a square so that they could stack up on top of each other. And let's see. I'm not going to be stacking them on top of each other though. They're going to be like right next to each other or one on this side and one on the other side of the dresser. But... Yeah, they have a little square that you it it could stick to the other one. How does this even open though? These are just so adorable though. I did I did not absolutely 100% bought them for decoration. I did not buy them for me to use them as lip product as chapstick, but I do not even know how the heck you open this. But these are just so cute. I love them. <laughs> They're so cute. like, And I love them. Like this, if my daughter was older, I totally would have bought in her like the whole collection of these. Or at least Mickey and Minnie. And get putting them in her Christmas stocking. Her, her Christmas sock. That's what I would have said. But she's only two. If I give her these, she's just going to mess them up. Eat them. She doesn't know how to, like, just put on chapstick and close it yet. These are so hard to open. And then I don't even know how to open it. <laughs> so let's stack them on top of each other. Sorry for all the noise. It was probably annoying. So that's how they look stacked on top of each other. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I probably can just have it on my dresser stacked up like this. And it's so adorable. But they're heavy. They're freaking heavy. And I don't know how to open it. I don't know how to open this. So, okay, moving on. I got another elf blush brush and I already I already washed the one that my dog decided to come and bite while I was doing my makeup. You guys just saw him right now. He wanted to take the lip crayon with him to do who knows what. But I got another one and I'm okay that I, I was going to wash the other one anyways despite getting another one because I need another one. What if one day I can't 
find the blush brush and I'm doing my makeup and I'm gonna be like, what the heck do I use? So I got an extra one. And then I got two more of the Wet n Wild blushes. The, the Wet n Wild color icon blushes. This one is in the shade Pearly's Pink in a new formula. And this one is in the shade Mellow Wine. And Pearly Pink, I saw their their formula, their not new formula. And they didn't just change the formula, but they changed like the undertone of it as well. I was going to buy it, but I left it. I was like, uh, it's, it's the same thing. I should have get, gotten it. If I, ever, if I see it, I'm going to get it and show you guys. They did. It says new formula. But they changed the undertone of the shade of the blush a little bit. Like it's, what? I've never tried these. I've never used these. But I was looking at them and I saw that one of them looked like a little bit pinker than the other one did. And that's what it looks like. And... That's what it looks like swatched. It's a pretty pink. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a lot of use of that one. And then this one is like a it's that one was in the shape her Parlisican pink, something pink. And this one is in the shade mellow wine, and this one looks a little bit more nude, like a nudie shade. That one looks more pinkish. But like a light pink, not a clown pink. And let's swatch this one as well. That one's lighter. That one that one is so much lighter. I like them. I'm gonna get used to uh, both of them. This is what it, the pearly's pink and this is the mellow mellow wine. This one is more like orangish kind of, like a natural color, and this one's pinkish, light pink. I like those ones. And I have the, I have the, the what, what is it called? Apricot in the middle, and I, I love, I love the formula, and the lasting power and the shade so I decided to pick up some more while I was there and I grabbed those two all the other ones were not in stock so I couldn't look at them so then I have I got the new elf needed nude eyeshadow palette my first elf eyeshadow palettes I've only tried like their little ones that have like three shades and I'm excited because these Kathleen Lights raves about and so does Jessica Burnham and what's that other girl? A lot of them rave about it and I want to try them. I'm like, this is $10. I want to try the baked one too, but I had it in my hands. I was like, oh, I'm going to leave it and get it next time. I left three things that now I'm regretting. I'm like, I should have gotten it. So that's it it has a big ass mirror that i did not expect but let's swatch a couple let's let's swatch the gold of course because gold is my favorite i i they're super pigmented and buttery like not chalky but not powdery i mean not chalky but not buttery they're like they feel like powder, but not chalky. So I'm going to swatch this like pinkish one now. That one looks like my skin tone. And let's swatch a brown one. Which one? This one has a gray undertone. There's four browns. The, the gray undertone, light brown. I'm probably going to use this one more. Dark brown, outer corner and crease and these two I have no idea if I'll ever use them and they have a white it is so important for me for each of the palettes 
to have a white because I always have to set that that eyeshadow base. One more. Just one more. This one. This shimmery, pink shimmery shade. Oh, that is beautiful. I love, I, I like this palette. I'm excited. I'm going to do a get ready with me with this on Wednesday. So be on the lookout. And then the last thing I got is this Milani Baked Powder Brush. I have, I have an eyeshadow by Milani that I still haven't even tried. But I heard it is a good brand. I tried the the mascara that I don't I don't like for my top lashes, just the bottom lashes. I tried that, but I haven't tried the eyeshadow I got. And I saw this there. I was like, I'm I want to try that. So let's just swatch this. Oh, it kicks up a little powder. So and it's like an orangey shade. It's like a pinkish orange shade. See, light pink, like natural, orangey, pink. They're all different shades, and I'm glad I got all three of them. I like it. I'm just got to be careful not to add a lot because then I'm going to look like a clown. But I like it. And they did have uh, another thing that I left. It was a illuminating powder. It's that package with all, like, the roses. I kind of wish I would have gotten it I, while I'm thinking, like, what if, what if, um, what if I would have liked it? But I'm going to get those things later. I'm going to get them later. I liked everything, everything I got, including this puppy. Yeah, your nose is always wet. But I liked everything I got. I wish I would have gotten that, that, especially that. The palette of e.l.f. I wish I wouldn't have left that. And I wish I would have gotten another eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. But I'm subscribed to Morphe. To the Morphe brush subscription. Hopefully they send one this month. Oh, those are super pigmented. They're still on my fingers. Even though I swatched them. I think I'm going to like that palette. And that's why I'm regretting leaving the baked one but anyways that was my drugstore haul and I don't really do much drugstore hauls because I love to get everything at Ulta because they have a reward system but I was on um, I was looking for the new wet and wild liquid lipsticks that just came out and I didn't find them but I found other things that I love especially these little cute decorations that I got. <laughs> decorations. They're lip balms, but I'm going to use them as decorations. They're so humongous, and I can't even figure out how to open them. So they're decorations for me. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. If you guys enjoy hauls or my videos in general, please give it a thumbs up. And... That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, if you're not subscribed, subscribe already. It would be awesome to have you here with us. And if you're not following me already on social media, go follow me. In the description box down below, we'll have my Facebook link and my Snapchat name. My Snapchat name is Jazzy. J A Z Z Y 110614. And then the link to my Facebook will be down there so that you could just click on it and go and add me on Facebook. And we could be best friends and chatting it up on there. But yeah, so subscribe. Leave any comments if you have any or any video requests. Request. So it's so weirdo sometimes. So that is going to be it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching, for taking the time and watching. And I'll see you guys in another video really soon. Bye, guys.